Power core. The air's warmer in here. Is that thing coming in here? It almost came in here. Wait a minute, does she have the receptor panel? Oh, she does. Good. Passcode Downing Street. I just realized Matlock has three health boosts. I think the other two people have none. Okay. I don't know if I've encountered this door yet. But... I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point, obviously. Downing Street. Alright, where is Downing Street? Oh, it's in Kenzo's neck of the base on Mars Woods. Madison Avenue. I'm I'm pretty sure all of that stuff is sealed off by bulkheads, so yeah, I don't think that's relevant yet. Alright, I gotta put the receptor panel somewhere. Here? A vent door powerful heat source. Must be volcanic. <clears throat> oh yeah, this place is built on a hot spot. I guess it makes sense that it would harness that power for power. A vent door powerful What the hell's a control panel? Oh, here we go. That's a wonderful look. It basically doesn't exist until you walk right up to it. It looks like there's nothing in this room that stands out. Until... Boom! Wonderful camera angle. Good job. Generator console. Works by palm recognition. Oh yeah. I need to give her a... Hand. Yeah, towards the end of this game, it just kind of turns into a run from everything and be constantly annoyed kind of simulator. <laughs> it gets so ridiculous. You're just constantly running, trying to switch items between characters. Okay. This is truly ghoulish, but I've got to get more power into the base. Alright, this should be the same... Yep, same information. Is this op option seriously called arm control? After I just used a hand to get into the panel and it's called arm control? Power core is the pumping heart of Vita base. It is essentially a 200 meter shaft linked to a natural underground heat source Receptor panels store the heat and transmit the power to all areas of the base, including Recyc and Mood Chamber. Well, really? They say it tr transmits it to all areas of the base, and then they specifically say Recyc and Mood Chamber. They're just trying to, like, spoon-feed in the information to you. Like, it says all areas of the base, so duh, of course it would include Recyc and Mood Chamber, but since Mood Chamber is used in a puzzle, 
they feel the need to mention it, for no good reason. Uh... Okay. What am I doing? I'm... using down on power core control. Okay. So wait, like, this receptor panel just sits over a vent and then... What, sucks up the heat and that supplies all of the energy to the entire base? What? The hell kind of a system is that? I think I need to go to the other side. Ah, it's missing a panel. That receptor panel will be enough to power up the base. Oh god damn it, that thing get inside. It did. Fuck you. Apparently it's pathfinding so messed up that it can't attack me though. And the zombie woke up. Alright, let's give this a save. What am I on? Save 8? Okay, so do I need to grab one of these cores? Or just by doing that, did I power mood up? No way. No, I think I'm fine. Actually, let's let's go here. Yeah, let's hang out here. All right, back to mood. Can you hear me? I am a subunit of Mood, which is one of the highly advanced. Why? Blah blah blah. Wait. Do I need to do something else? Access denied. I'm confused. Hold on. Let me take a look at the walkthrough. I thought there was like a power core that I needed. Alright, first you need a fingerprint ID. This seems impossible at first because all the colonists are dead, but blah blah blah. It's about cutting off the arm. Okay, replace the receptor panel. Activate it. Once power has been restored, you can head back to Chem Lab. Once power has been restored, Mood will become much more sociable. Ask Mood about the bulkheads, and Mood says that she might raise the bulkheads if you can guess her password. Wait, what? So, so then I'm done. Power's been restored, right? So, why isn't this working? Oh, it was new. The dialogue that triggered when I just talked to her was new, but it sounded the same at first. Okay. Never mind, everything's fine. Alright, don't need this walkthrough then. Hmm, 
what should I talk about? Bulkheads is a thing I need to talk to her about, so let's talk about everything else first. According to the mood files, you're linked to the entire PA system in the base. You're also hooked up to the PA in the necropolis. Well, what of it? That means I can talk to you anywhere. Listen, I know what's going on everywhere, but I'm not inclined to indulge in chit-chat here, there, and all over the shop. If you want a bit of a chinwag, drop in and see me. In other words, there's no good reason that you shouldn't be able to talk to her anywhere, but they decided it would be too much effort to script in some way to do it, so they have it so you can only talk to her in one place. That's what that actually meant, if you read between the lines. What can you tell me about Diane Matlock? When she was a small child, back in 1996, she read the news headlines about the microfossils identified in that Martian meteorite. First proof of Martian life. Since then, she's devoted herself to finding living organisms on Mars. Is Matlock one of Allenby's secret operatives? Anything shady about her? She's not one of Allenby's people, and she's not shady. Mind you, nobody's perfect. Even you. Can you tell me any more about Matlock? She's not all she seems to be. Oh yeah, thank you for that information. She's not all she seems to be. Very helpful. How much can you tell me about Earth Control? Everything. But I'm far too tired to be bothered. Fair enough. This mission we're engaged in, the Enigma mission, do you know anything about it that we don't? Not really. You're investigating ten months of radio silence from Vita Base. Mind you. Khan knows something you don't. What does Khan know? <laughs> Ask Khan. But he won't tell you. Okay, I get the feeling that... I get the feeling that Mood is trying to play us against each other. So, yeah, fuck Mood. I'm not gonna pay attention to anything she says. About the other members of my team. What are those crab-like creatures scuttling about the place? Ah, yes. The extrudes. Trimorphs give birth to them in warm, well-oxygenated conditions. Pesky little beggars, aren't they? What can we do against them? Take aim. Try not to miss. Did she just say pesky little beggars? I... Why do I get the feeling that that was a typo? But she read it anyway and no one noticed? Shouldn't that be pesky little buggers? Pesky little beggars? What? They don't beg anything. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Pesky little beggars. No, it should be buggers. Uh, info mesh? Okay. Trying to talk about info mesh just resets the, uh,. The thing to the top. Access denied. What's your opinion of Judith Harway? Pleasant woman. Very intelligent. Highly capable. Is that it? That's it. Wonderful. My full name is Kenzo Yuji. Have you heard of me? What's this? Fishing for compliments? You're Earth's most renowned techno zen hippie. King of the info meshers. It must be a great honor for you to mesh with the Solo System's most magnificent computer. Do you wish me to get intimate and call you by your personal name of Kenzo? Yes. I think I'll stick to your family name of Uji. I never get intimate on the first date. At least, not before midnight, Kenzo. Is it before midnight? I actually have no idea what time it is. I can't see outside, and our watches are broken. How much has been discovered so far about living organisms under the surface of Mars? As for living organisms, they're all located 15 meters and more under the Martian surface, below the permafrost. What kind of organisms are they? Now there's a mystery. And what mystery is that? Find out for yourself.
How much do you know about Mars? Absolutely everything. Could you be a little more specific? Mars is the god of war. So? I've told you all I feel like telling you. Have you ever played Martian Mayhem? Don't be bloody stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. What do you know about Martin Karn? I know that he's one of your fellow members on the Enigma mission. Before his young son was killed, he was involved in covert operations for Earth Control. It was reported that he killed nine men. At the time, he was very close to Allenby. Now, officially, Khan has returned to his original vocation as a mining engineer. By the way, this is the first time he has volunteered for any mission. Curious, don't you think? Could you tell me more about Karn? Khan is not all he seems to be. There's evidence of volcanic activity under the base, but every study has shown that there's no volcanism on Mars. How do you explain that? The base is on the lower flanks of the Mons Olympus, a volcano three times the height of Everest. There are pockets of volcanism still active under the surface, but they are no longer natural. What do you mean, no longer natural? It's all on the text files in those rubbishy computers you can find close by. Password, hammer. Hammer? Okay, that's the password for which computer, though? Hmm. <laughs> Non-dead? A.K.A. undead? Who the hell calls them non-dead? Were you aware that the Walking Dead are rambling about this place? Ah uh, yes, the non-dead. Activated by a single strain of Martian bacteria. Spooky, aren't they? How do we deal with them? Shoot them, that's what I say. That'll keep them quiet for a while. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you with their hands. While they're up and about, their bodies are steeped in sub-sub-sub-zero temperatures. They'll freeze you on the spot. They've sucked in the cold soul of Mars, you see. An icy spirit. We're talking brass monkeys here, darling. I feel like an ice statue when I get anywhere near them. Well, you would. Is she seriously trying to tell me that the most dangerous thing about the zombies is their coldness? Because based on my past experience, the most dangerous thing about them is the fact that they eat your neck, make you splurt blood, and then break your neck. That seems like a more pressing concern than a bit of cold. Operation Akarak. What is that? Akarak is the true name of Mars. Cool. Anyway, it's all on the text files in those... Blah, blah, blah. Mood, can you hear me? Oh, God, no. What? You know, I must get my beauty sleep or my neural networks will be absolutely shot to bits. I was just having the most delightful dream. Of seventeen young sailors on pogo sticks. What? Silent. Upon a peak in Darien. <laughs> the symbolism escapes me. Anyway, power core has been restored. You should be wide awake. Is anything wrong? Uh, just a moment. Let me see. Ah, yes. Several heat receptors are out of commission in power core. So you'll have to make do with 60% energy levels. Ah, oh, cheese. Okay. Oh my god, how many... Gee, there's so many topics. And such a tiny menu to select them from. There's a standard computer voice. Female. Mid-Atlantic accent. Is she a subsystem of you? How dare you suggest I have any association with that woman? Compared with that woman, I am as Queen Hatshepsut for common doxy in a wayside inn. Please refrain from mentioning that woman to my face ever again. If you yep. do, I warn you, I shall... I shall sulk. 
You don't have a face. You're a computer system. I need information on VitaBase. You'll find it in the text files. I want to know what isn't in the files. Oh. <laughs> secrets. You want secrets? Well, the location of VitaBase is no accident. Earth Control knew exactly what it was doing when it chose this site for drilling. What do you mean by that? Vita Base was built over Hades, the Kingdom of the Dead. How much can you tell me about the Vita Project? Vita is Latin for life. The Vita Project is the search for life on Mars. Simple as that. All in the text files. No. What was that dream I was having about a book with no beginning and no end? And no middle bit? Why do I bother? I think Mood is a bit cracked. Or maybe she's on crack. Whatever the hell the equivalent of computer crack would be. Did you know that our watches have stopped? Stuck in a strange sequence of digits? Of course I did, silly boy. I stopped them. How did you stop them? I can transmit psionic pulses to Earth and far, far beyond stopping clocks or, if absolutely necessary, pacemakers. Tinkering with watches presented no great challenge. But why? If you can't work that out, you'll never hone the skills that will help you survive this rather unfriendly place. Well, the passwords on them were used to get the other base members, uh, the other crew members' personal files, so she wanted me to know more about the other crew members, and she seems to be trying to sow the seeds of discontent amongst us. So she wants me to know something about the other crew members, but I don't want to listen because I think she's full of shit. Are there many weapons around this place? To tell the truth, I didn't expect to find any. There are a few scattered about. Allenby had them shipped in after the big secret was discovered down below. Noisy brutes, guns. Okay, time to talk about the bulkheads. Would you raise the bulkheads, please, Mood? Oh, I don't know about that. I'll tell you what, we'll play a game. Give me the password, and I'll lift the bulkheads. What password? It's a matter of reading the signs. If you can't read them, get someone to do it for you. And according to the walkthrough, to uh, the password is Park Lane or whatever. Just that note. <laughs> yeah, I wrote it down here. I stuffed it in some bulkhead. There's a note that said Park Lane. I'm in the mood. Get it? In the mood. Yeah, so according to the walkthrough, you just do the bulkhead thing again. And if you've already read the note, you give her the password. Mood. The password is Park Lane. Boom. Park Lane. Truly good. Well done, Kenzo. But watch your step. Okay, well now I have to actually be careful to not get close to the other crew members. Now that the bulkheads are raised. So, yeah, where am I going? Let's explore with Kenzo first. Yeah, okay. So there's two things like there's two things I know I can do with Kenzo now that the bulkheads are raised and I know I won't encounter the other crew members whilst doing them. And that is if I go back to my airlock right below that rainbow room on Madison Avenue, that whole lower area I should be able to access it now, and I know I have key card 4, like the green card 4, to dorm 4. And I also have... I also have a password of 1010 for Downing Street, which is also down there, so I have two things that I can definitely do down there. So, let's do them. But hold on, there was something else. Was there something else I was going to do? I feel like there was something else I was going to do. Oh, 
I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever. Let's go. Here we go. Wait. What the fuck? I thought this bulkhead was supposed to be raised. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. I just did that. Uh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? The bulkhead's sealed. If one's... I need to go have a chat with Moon again. I thought she raised them. Apparently she didn't. Uh. Jeez, I thought I got him off. I thought I got that zombie off. Apparently it got me off. not even an option anymore. What the hell? Uh, excuse me. Oh, maybe I need to use the chair? Oh, a semi-real chamber. A simplified version of a room in my own home. Ah, it's pleasant. A shamisen, complete with plectrum. Won't budge. Perhaps music is the key. Music is the key to everything. Oh. Uh. With the bell? <laughs> Wait, now seriously? I have a room with a view. Did I just pluck the instrument with the bell? I... Whatever. Don't question it. Well, this appears to be the exact scene from my picture. I like that I'm in this peaceful environment, but I still have a gun. At first glance, I'd say that diagrams of Vito Bay series are being sketched on the rocks. Ah! Those would be the bulkheads, yes! And the revolving cyan rod, pure psionic energy in visible form. It works as both a pointer and cursor. When the rod touches a symbol, something happens out in the base. This game makes absolutely no sense at all. Well, before I do that, let me talk to Mood. Oh, it's just the same topics from back there. Actually, wait, can I talk to her about info meshing now? Nope. Uh, use rock. Or don't. There we go. A bulkhead. If you raise one, I think you raise them all. Well... <laughs> Let's raise them all then. Boom! That's it. All bulkheads are up. Oh, now I remember what the other thing I was going to do is. Hold on. 
I want to try this password that Mood gave me on this computer in here. And I also want to save it. <laughs> My nose itches. Never mind. Apparently it's not used on this computer. Yeah, she said on one of the computers you can use the password HAMMER. But... What computer would I use that on? I don't know. Didn't I say a long time ago that I might regret not having a save point here? Guess what? I regret not having a save point here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to save with someone else. Okay, which way do I go? This way. What's up, dude? And by dude, I mean extrude. Extrude, dude. Okay, who can save? You can save. Do you have anything I can use a password on? Nope. Uh, what am I up to? Save nine? Here we go. Okay, this way, there's two ways to go. <clears throat> this way will take me to Dorm 9, the other way will take me to... Downing Street, which I have a password to. It must be a password to something on Downing Street. Um, let's go to Dorm number 4 first. Ooh. Remember what the walkthrough said about you can use this to scout ahead? Here we go. Please don't make me get through doorways. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Something looks wrong about that door. It's got, like, no color. It looks like the door is giving off black and white light or something. There's a strange light here. Right tag, right dorm, what's wrong? Just like that panel and that screwdriver, I have no idea. I don't know, what's wrong, I guess it just won't open. Green tag required. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not going there. Looks like if you go down a little bit more, you hit Lonely Street. Let's explore a lonely street. <clears throat> wow. I didn't get too far. Whoops. Need the key to unlock it. A, like a physical key? Like the key that you turn? Um... I know someone has a locker key. I think I stuck it in a hatch or something though, yeah. But I don't think that's a locker. Alright, I guess we're going the other way. Down to Downing Street.
Oh, hey. Holy shit, there are a lot of bodies here. Uh, which one am I searching? I need to make sure I search both. Alright, I think I got them both. Oh, okay, so that's what the code's for, 1010. I just realized you can use the keyboard to type in these passwords. You don't need to select it with the keyboard. I mean, you can use the, the numbers instead of using the arrow keys and then pressing enter. Much faster. Alright, dorm three. Diabolus ammo, holy shit. Don't know what the hell a Diabolus is, but it sounds nice. Wait a minute, there's an electronic screwdriver and then just a normal screwdriver? Is this what I need to use on that hatchback where Matlock is? Why would one behave any differently than the other? So tags come in more than one color. The tags must be color-coded to certain doors. Each dorm has its own special green tag. Kenzo? Did you seriously just figure something out that I figured out at the beginning of the game? like in the first hour and you just figured it out at like hour six and you're supposed to be a genius interesting no no it's not it's a screwdriver a screwdriver is not interesting interesting all right where's dorm three oh it looks like if i keep going this direction i'll hit dorm three after Dead Man's Walk, which sounds like a lovely name. Alright, let's shoot some of these. Because I need to search them, and it's going to take forever if I try to do anything else. we go. Jesus. How much ammo do I have? Uh, not that much. Alright, search them all right now. Ooh, hell... Wait, another one. Why would I need two? Alright. Jean Mero, Daylog, August 8th, 2018, 637 AM. The last batch of recruits to our merry band has just made planet fall. Two exogeologists, a bacteriologist, and a mining engineer. That brings Vita Base up to its full complement of 58 members. We're right on schedule for the Vita project. Haraway gave the newcomers the usual pep talk. They listened with happy shining faces, just like I did three months ago. They weren't told about the big secret we unearthed down below. When they do hear about it, and when they see it, they'll be looking over their shoulders come nightfall like the rest of us. Sometimes I think Mood is the only one who has a clue what's going on. 11.03 p.m. I've just finished a double shift down below. We're all getting pretty nervous. No one likes what's going on, but no one says anything. Three months more and I'll be out of here. Roll on that day. I don't sleep at nights. The hell did I just hear? I'm realizing, realizing that the fact this is called Dead Man's Walk is very appropriate. Like what I'm hearing. Yeah. Green tag required. Do I want to open this? Uh. What 
if I do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Good. Um. Okay. I'm glad I didn't go in here. I don't think they expected me to do this. I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. What in the hell am I supposed to do to get this thing out of here? Because obviously I can't go in here without dying. This is one of the trimorphs. Oh wait, whoa. Wait a minute. The baby bug can't do it on its own. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what to do. So, wait, I am supposed to do this then. If it seems to recognize that I'm supposed to do this to solve the puzzle. Okay, I think what I need is the magnetic checker pieces. I need to put those inside of the storage compartment within the baby bug. Whoops. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, look, it's got a storage compartment. Alright, well, I'm safe there. Um, who has the checker pieces? I believe it's Karn. Yep, there we go. A checker. Highly magnetic. Now I just need to get it. There's a vac tube in here. <laughs> I could run to the vac tube in here. No, no. Fuck that. This is gonna take a while. I think I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh my god. I like how I'm getting mobbed by zombies, but I'm invincible. See ya. Okay. Huh, and I don't believe I'm hurt. Um, I don't know if that came from the zombies or if I got that earlier. I can't remember. Why did that just close? Eh, whatever.
Bingo. Ah, shit, that thing got in here again. And now it's gone. Okay. This is what survival horror looks like, my friends. Don't you feel terrified? Endlessly pressing left and right to escape from the zombies that basically can't hurt you, but do nothing and do nothing but waste your time? I like that they do that little dun dun as if you're actually scared. Like, oh my god, surprise, it happened for the thousandth time. I literally can't even turn around. Fuck's sake. Are you serious? I can't turn around. Oh my god, there we go. Almost there. Okay. I like the nice little touch that the artists added where you can see the zombies through the wall. That's nice. It really adds to the atmosphere, you know? Wait. Are you kidding me? No. How do I do this? If the magnet doesn't do it, then what the hell does? God damn it. Hold on, walk through time. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Actually, before I do the walkthrough, let me just look at what I have. Like, do I have anything sticky? Maybe I need something sticky? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. I don't see anything that's going to do it. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's use a walkthrough. Okay, I just looked at the walkthrough, and it looks like the next thing I need to do is go to dorm number one with Matlock. And I apparently need to take the locker key and the screwdriver with me. So, hold on, let me figure out where dorm number one keycard is. Is it on Matlock? Yes, okay, she has it. Uh, she has an electronic screwdriver, but it said specifically screwdriver, not electronic. So... Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so anyway, this guy definitely does not need to be here. So I might as well just get him out of here and go through this whole thing again. Come on. Did they? They're both attacking me? Uh... How is that possible? Oh dear god. Okay, fuck this. Oh my god. Do they ever fall down? Like, it seems like they maybe literally don't fall down. Well, I'm making some progress. <sighs> that zombie just disappeared. The zombie just literally disappeared. It's not even here anymore. What the fuck? Where did it go? No, that one's waking up. <laughs> Almost through. <laughs> this section is so fucking tedious. Another one. Oh, thank God. I think I actually do take a little damage from when they get that one blood squirt on you. Alright, so let me transfer this to Matlock. Apparently the next place that Kenzo is going to be needed is in uh, Mood's chair. Okay. Dorm tag one. Screwdriver. Oh shit, I forgot the key. God damn it. Who has a locker key? It's in a bulkhead. Hold on, let me use the computer. Storeroom. No, that's not it. It was locker key. Lock key, lock key, oh locker key. Wait, I've already gone around them all once? What the fuck? Who? Shit, wait a minute. I never picked the key up. 
Fuck, where was the key? Oh no, it's not in a locker. I either never picked it up or I stuffed it somewhere. Other than one of the hatches. Okay, I'll be back when I have the key. Alright, so it looks like the walkthrough for some reason neglects to mention. As far as I can tell, at least. It neglects to mention where the locker key is. And I can't remember where the hell I put it, so I'm just going to take a break from Key Hunt Simulator 2000. And next time I come back, I'll come back after I've already found the key. So you won't have to deal with me <laughs> trying to find the damn thing. So I can save you at least a little bit of frustration. Alright, so I hope you're enjoying this, in most ways, incredibly mediocre game, and I will be back soon.